Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. All right, so I thought I'd try something fun today. Uh, we're going to upgrade the Behringer Wing to firmware uh, 3.0. I believe we're actually at 3.04 maybe at this point. Um, but I'm going to do this live. Um, I've done no prep work at all. I haven't even done this ahead of time to test it. So what could go wrong, right? So we're just going to do this. I'm going to show you my whole process. Um, I am going to film, if you've gotten to this video, I'm going to film a couple other videos that uh, go through... Uh, the upgrades in firmware 3.0, some of the new features, uh, it'll be more concise videos. So this video is literally just me upgrading, it's the whole process, uh, just to uh, see what happens. So, all right, so I've got my Behringer Wing here. We are currently running firmware 2.0. Okay, so I never upgraded past 2.0 on this console. Uh, so we're gonna jump from 2.0 up to, uh, we'll check in a second, I think it's 3.04, literally as of this morning. Um, I don't always recommend uh, upgrading right away, but now that 3.0 has been out for a little bit and they've come out with a few, um, you know, sub iterations of that, they've fixed some of those bugs and so I'm gonna upgrade and see how it goes. So, uh, like I said, I'm running firmware 2.0 right now. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is back up the console. Very, very important. Um, in this case, right, I'm going to back up every file on here. You want to make sure that you're not just saving a snapshot of the board. I'm going to make sure that I have all of the files, all of my snapshots, all of my snippets, um, all of my channel presets. Everything is backed up just in case the internal drive gets wiped uh, during a firmware update. I'm going to do that via USB. So I'm going to uh, enable my wing data partition. Um, to my computer, USB, and then we'll back up the whole board. So I'm gonna go ahead on the screen here, go to setup and click the wing data partition here and confirm that. So I've got a USB cable plugged into my computer. Let's hop over to the computer. All right, here I've got, uh, as soon as I enabled that partition, now I have a drive plugged in called wing data on my Mac. And so we're gonna go ahead and back everything up. So I'm going to create a file called backup with the date. And I'm literally going to take everything on the board and copy it over. All right. So again, I got everything on the board, all my snapshots, all my folders, you know, everything um, that I had organized there is, is now backed up. And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that drive to put the wing uh, back into its normal state and you can see on the wing here um, it deselected the dat data partition and we're back in a normal state so all right so we're going to download the firmware from the Behringer website we're going to go to Behringer.com downloads and then digital mixers wing so I've got the wing Full, they are coming out with the compact and the rack, so just make sure you're grabbing the accurate firmware. So we want the wing, software, and then firmware. So this is going to show you all the firmware versions. <clears throat> so they're still posting uh, 2.1 on their site, and then we can get 3.02 through 3.04. So today I'm going to install 3.04, uh, but I do have 2.1. And also 2.0, which is my current version. I have both those files available just in case I need to revert if there's any issues. So we'll go ahead and download 3.04. Should be pretty quick. All right, so here's that file. So we're looking for this uh, wing release 3.04.wingfw file. So we just need to throw that on our USB drive. So I'm gonna plug that into my machine. All right, I'm gonna throw that firmware file on the USB drive. And eject the USB drive. 
All right, let's throw that USB drive in the wing. I'm gonna do one more thing as a safeguard here. Not expecting this to happen, but in case everything disappears and the files are not recoverable, I'm gonna take a few pictures of the board just so I can remember how things are going. Go through and take a picture of my entire layout and some of my main EQs. Okay, and then take a picture of our main routing here. And then I heard in firmware 3.0 that the talkback section was changed, so I'm gonna take a quick picture of that as well. Sometimes when you're doing these firmware upgrades, you can load your file and if something massive has changed, it can still be messed up. All right, so I've got everything backed up uh, off of the wing. That's what's very important. You don't wanna just make sure it's saved on the wing itself. You wanna back that up. I've got the firmware on the USB drive, so we're gonna to go to setup. You can see I'm running uh, version 2.0 and we're gonna click update it's going to automatically select the USB drive and show you anything that's available firmware wise. So it's only showing us our firmware file that I have on there. We're gonna to go to wing 3.0.4. So I'm gonna click that and click update. It goes through a check and says, are you sure? We are sure. All right, and that's how quick that is. So it's gonna uh, reboot the console. Uh, it looks like we have to manually reboot it. So I'm gonna shut down, confirm, power it down. Give it a second, turn it back on. All right, so we are back up and running. All right, the screen has definitely changed. So we're gonna to go to setup and we can see that we are on 3.0.4. Do a couple checks here, look at our routing. Looks like our local routing has held our snake routing is still there. Um, got Dante card in there, so I've got a Dante routing set up. Local outs. All right, looks like all my main routing has held. All my channels are still here. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is, uh, very important, is to take that firmware file back off of your USB drive. Likely, you're using that USB drive for uh, storing some of your snapshots and stuff. So you want to take that back off so that nobody accidentally runs it. So I'm going to plug that back into my computer. I'm going to remove that file from the USB drive. Eject it. Plug it back into the wing. And go ahead and view that. Here, USB drive, make sure it's the file is not on there. And then we're gonna do one more reboot now with the firmware file gone, with the firmware updated, just to make sure everything uh, works great. Shut it down. And turn it back on. All right, everything looks great. Go back to the setup screen. 
Just confirm that. Let's go ahead and do one more test here. I'm going to load that board backup file that I made prior to us starting. So I made this board backup file. It's on the internal drive. Again, if that had been wiped, we could load it back on. I'm going to go ahead and load that, make sure there's no errors. And everything is what I expect. We'll just do a little more testing and be good to go. All right, so I wanted to add on this quick update. Uh, this is for Dante users, okay? So when I updated to 3.0.4, Initially thought everything was great, stopped filming, so I just wanted to add this on. Uh, my Dante card stopped working. So I'm gonna explain real quickly how I got uh, that fixed. Um, one thing to note, I don't know if it's actually important because I don't know what it means on the screen here. Next to the USB icon, there used to be a Dante logo right here, and now it's changed to this new symbol. So uh, I just thought that that was interesting. Don't currently know what that means. Uh, but you've never been able to actually click that, so it doesn't do anything. So as you can see here, uh, when I first updated to 3.0.4, um, it, it did show that I had a Wing Dante expansion card installed. So this has been working this whole time. Um, so again, a few important things to note here because this might not act the same for everybody. I went from firmware 2.0, Wing firmware 2.0, all the way to 3.0.4. Okay, and I have a Wing Dante card in the expansion slot. So it's, it's a external card in the expansion slot of the Wing. Okay, so all those things might be important. And now that I've done all my troubleshooting, uh, one thing to note is my Dante card firmware version. Let me find this real quick. My Dante card firmware version was 4.2. 0.4.8, okay? So I know in my case, the issue was going from Wing Firmware 2 with a Dante card firmware of 4.2.4.8. Then I upgraded to the Wing 3.0.4 and it didn't work. So the newest version as of this filming for the Dante card for the firmware is 4.2.7.7. .7. Okay, so here's what I did. Uh, and here's how it acted. When I upgraded the wing, hooked it all up to Dante, and my Dante controller, the wing, just didn't even show up at all. Um, so I did a bunch of troubleshooting, obviously made sure that the cabling was good and I wasn't missing anything else. Uh, so what I did was, uh, because the way that you update your expansion card is through the Dante controller, there's an updater, but you have to be able to see it to update it, so I couldn't see it. So I went back, reverted to firmware 2.0 on the wing, uh, that actually enabled the wing to show up in the Dante controller. So a little confusing there, but uh, I reverted, was able to see it. So what I did then was update my Dante card first, and then I re-updated the wing, and that got me there. So that's the quick synopsis. I'm going to show you a couple quick things uh, if you want to know some of those details. So I'm going to jump over to the computer real quick. You can see here I'm in the Dante controller. We'll pop over to the device info. You can see the wing. Okay, it's, it's, it shows the wing and then it shows you your Dante version. Now I've already updated this, so I am now on 4.2.7.7, .7, but this may likely for you be an older version. So again, uh, I reverted the wing back to 2.0. Now I can see this on the network. So you click the updater, which is this um, icon next to the plus. So you click the updater and the updater comes up. And you get a couple options here. It says updates available and it will show you the devices. Currently I have no devices found that need updates. Then you have your up-to-date devices. So in my current case I have my computer and the wing showing up-to-date. Okay. So in your case if you're out of date you're going to have the wing listed here and it would show you your current version and the version it can go to. So obviously, if you're watching this later, that might be a newer version. And then it's a pretty simple process at that point. You would just click on the wing that's out of date. You would update the firmware. You just have to have internet, and it's a pretty easy process. It walks you right through it. So once I updated my Dante card using that Dante updater, again, this is on my computer, um, it, it actually disappeared from the network again after the restart. So at that point, what I think was happening was the wing was on 2.0 and that now conflicted with the newest Dante firmware. So after a bunch of troubleshooting again, 
um, I decided to then update the wing back to where I want it, which is 3.0.4. So once I did that process, uh, it showed back up and it started working. Uh, one thing to note here is sometimes it actually took a couple restarts of either the wing, the Dante controller, you know, a few different things for things to work. It was a very odd troubleshooting process. Um, so just to kind of reiterate here, initially did the wing firmware first, it broke Dante. So then I reverted the wing back to 2.0, updated Dante first, then I updated the wing uh, back to 3.0.4, and now we're all happy. So again, to update Dante, you do have to be able to see it on the network, and so that was the one major, major uh, piece there. So at this point, I've got everything working and tested, and we're good to go. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.